My name is John Long. My law firm is John Long Law, and I'm in Issaquah, Washington. I've been a lawyer for about 40 years. Most of my career has been in mortgage compliance law. When it began with the meltdown of the mortgage industry, nobody really knew what was going to be involved. We had this program uh, it comes out in a simple little form, the HAMP form. You fill it out, you put in the financials, send in the supporting information. How hard can it be? The phone started ringing with referral of people that couldn't get a, couldn't get refinanced or were in trouble, couldn't make their payments and needed help. Well, I, I recognized early on that you got to be careful when you fill out those forms and because you got to fit in the box. But the client base was what I would say, at least for me, that what was hitting were a lot of people that truly were victims of predatory lending. I almost refer to our client base now as the 800 FICO Club. People that are deer in the headlights, never in their wildest fears did they think they would be in this place. Not only are they worried about saving their home, how are they going to send their children to college, you know, how are they, what are they going to do? They have not been foreclosing for a while now. And therefore, the market is drying up a bit and sales are starting to move. We're starting to build a few houses and like that. But the harsh reality is that there's an enormous pent-up backlog of foreclosures to be and they are gonna hit. The attack, so to speak, is having to look for more and more ways to get what I believe they truly should be obtaining, loan modification. We're getting away from the fundamental that the homeowner is in distress, the economy's in distress, we gotta pull together and solve it. Instead of it's more and more them and us, you got people now that aren't going to roll over. You know, they're, they're wait a minute, I, I've done it right in my life. I've played by the rules, and other people that didn't play by the rules have put me in an awful mess. I can't promise my kids what my dad promised me. And, and that is a harsh reality. Our job, I think, as lawyers now is to be zealous advocates, don't leave any stone unturned, but in the back room with the client, we've got to have a talk about harsh reality. Sometimes being right doesn't matter. What you got to do is solve the damn problem, and that's, that's where it's headed now, I think. And the banks are going to have to turn around, or one day they're going to wake up and it's going to be the 60s. Instead of in front of the university, they'll be out in front of the banks. Uh, when I was a kid, credit cards were layaway. The idea of spending more than you make was unheard of. My parents' generation, that was very debt conscious and you wanted to have your mortgage burning party, to where you're, there's something wrong with you if you don't have a platinum card and if you don't go out and pull that equity out of your house. You're not smart. It, you know, and, and we all, we as a society, we all got on the bandwagon. And it worked great as long as values kept going up. And when, when we maxed out our credit cards, what did they do? They came out with 125% LTVs. Have you got an 800 FICO score? You got that platinum card? We'll give you more than your house is worth. You know, and, and, and so you pay off your credit cards, but you don't have the discipline anymore because you're always hammered to get more. Plus, you get a new card in the mail with a bigger limit. So you run them up again. And you go out and refinance again. We all went along with it. Now, we can criticize the public, but the reality is, is that we're the public. We're very susceptible and we, you know, we get marketed 24-7. You gotta now stand up and be the role model for, for fighting back. Don't charge. Start getting smart about it and, and, and deal with your problem. You know, get in, get it assessed, Find out what you can do, be realistic, and get it solved. Growing up on the hungry side of town, 
When all the jobs that had sprung up had all but wound down. And even now I hear my father say, If we only had one more dollar, we'd all eat for one more day. And bankruptcy. Oh, that word is so frightening to people. And I, I joke with clients, I guess, by the time I get done talking with you, you're going to want a badge that says, I filed bankruptcy, I did my part, why haven't you? You know, it's a tool. We live in money. And you better figure it out and take the gloves off. Your pride, your Oh my goodness, I can't, nobody should know about this. It's time to set that aside. You need, Mr. and Mrs. America, you need every tool in the shed if you're going to succeed in rescuing yourself. This isn't just about your house. At the end of the day, I'm sorry, but it is two by fours and sheetrock. You need to want, figure out what you're going to do five years from now. And you need to think clearly or get somebody that you trust that does. For example, you're underwater, $150,000, $200,000, and you're determined to keep your house. Why? I'm not saying you shouldn't. I'm saying, have you thought that through? I have people coming in that are retired, that have exhausted their retirement account keeping their mortgage payments up. What is going to, they can't go out and get a job very easily, certainly not enough money. What did they do? You know, and I, and I understand. I, I know how it happens, except you're dealing with thieves and thugs, you know. <laughs> the, politician man loves to lie. the banks have one lawyer, basically. I mean, and maybe they got a dozen of them. Bank of America is represented by some of the finest lawyers in the country. They all are. And there aren't a lot of them involved because these firms are worldwide. And they talk to one another. They, you know, they have a database. I don't. I can't go online to all the plaintiff's lawyers and say, hey, what do I do? They have it. So that is a, not only they, you know, we're, we're talking to the 800 pound gorillas and they can crush us because we're little unless we have a lot of support and and ultimately the solution is going to lie to in either crushing the middle class or the economics being such that the banks feel we need the middle class and they're going to come up with a solution to help. And, I, and I'm an eternal optimist. You know, I keep thinking that it's in everybody's interest to solve it because what's at stake is a collapsed economy. And that reality is going to become more and more inescapable, so they may have to fix it. Or we've got to get big enough to care. Suddenly, we are the hugest gorilla in the jungle. We got to start demanding justice. And those that are in it, you got to get in early. You got to get a dose of reality. You got to accept where you are and circle the wagon. Start looking down the road. Where are you going to be? How are you going to weather this? Because it isn't a spring shower, this is a long winter. Quiet title very complicated issue and I, I would love nothing better than to be able to say it works but I can't I can't find it I get told that it's happening but I research it you know there was one in the state of Washington that I know of and it had absolutely nothing to do with this issue uh, a lawyer that I respect a great deal did it uh, and but the bottom line is that if it's happening, it's a very well-kept secret. Are you really going to get a half a million dollar loan, a $300,000 loan, or whatever it is, forgiven because somebody on the internet tells you, fill out this form and it'll stop the lender in their tracks for you know, $500 or $1,000? Or go to a lawyer and for $4,500 or $5,000, you're going to get a $500,000 loan forgiven? 
And so if you're being told that quiet title is accomplishable, investigate it. Who's telling you that and where are they getting their information and verify it. Be very, very careful about it because you're susceptible. You want a solution. You want vindication. You want to punish the wrongdoers. People are angry. People are feel that nothing's fair. People feel right or wrong that the banks got away with it. My job is to get you where you need to go and affordably. What we, what we do at our firm is uh, people that, that want to consult, we have a flat fee, 250 bucks. You bring in your loan documents, be prepared to discuss your finances, what you own, what you make, your hardship, and when you leave, you may not like what you hear, but you'll know where you stand. And then if you want to hire us, we go from there.